All legs, baby! Oh, this will make sense. I promise. I'm not sure how Satan worship, the personification of Satanism, ended up in the roof. Like, there's a lot here. There's actually a lot here. I think we need to emotionally unpack. First of all, they appear to be watching iCarly, which excellent choice. Um, second of all, how the hell did you get stuck in the roof? How did you do this? Hello everybody and welcome to Calvis. My name is Lumo and today we are looking at r slash Tumblr, a subreddit dedicated to that kooky cyan site which we all fled from the second it, you know, stops supporting specific types of images. Let's just get right into it. None for you. There's the second side of the post. Oh, it wasn't, it's not fake. It wasn't just a dude, really. If you're going to post something like this with no explanation, like where is the rest of him? He's just hanging out. Oh, uh, oh. I like memes that age well. This is, <laughs> this is beautiful. I really want more context though. How, how the, how the hell did this happen? How, I want, I need answers. I want a sandwich too. I want grilled cheese. This is, this is so incredibly stupid. Oh, this this fills me with joy. This does spark joy. Fun fact, face masks are made with in such a way that water can't pass through the tiny holes in it. Source, I forgot to remove my mask before drinking water. This is one of my favorite gags that I do with my mask is just spill water on it because I always carry an extra one. And if I'm already about to leave, it's just funny. Simultaneously, I'm ho I hope that has no negative consequences on the effectiveness of the mask. But uh, yeah, no, it's, I, I still haven't fully adjusted. I, I go out of my house maybe three times a month now, if that. So I don't, I haven't really had my life impacted that much by Rona, but I always forget that I'm wearing it at a certain point because if it's not doing the thing that my, my mask does where it like tries to enter my mouth when I breathe, which let me tell you is not a comfortable experience. If it doesn't do that, I forget I'm wearing it because it just feels like my glasses on my ears. So it, it, it's like, I have forgotten several times that I'm wearing it and yeah, <laughs> yeah. Kirby with cowboy hat, it's too big. <laughs> Yes! This has the same, like, the same energy as Roses Are Red. Hold on, let me, let me remember, let me remember the poem. I had, I had to look it up. Roses are red, sugar is sweet. He boot too big for he got damn feet. <laughs> it has the same energy as this post, and I absolutely love it. I love that Kirby is just the symbol of internet love and positivity. He's a good boy who just wants good things to happen to people. I love him. I love Cowboy Kirby. Him hat too big for he goddamn him. I am so happy that the top comment was also a reference. I did not look at the comments actually before looking this up. This this also sparks joy. Dude, I will never forgive Craigslist for banning me after I wrote a post seeking a sworn nemesis. Whoever reported that is so obviously my nemesis, but I was so pissed. <laughs> this is such incredibly like sound logic, but also it's so incredibly stupid. I love Craigslist personals because I'm not sure any of them are real and all of them feel like a cryptid desperately seeking love, which in a way is relatable for I too am a cryptid. Has anyone ever seen me? Even I haven't seen me. Am I real? I don't know. It, uh, it's so stupid. Would anyone like to be my nemesis? As unlikely as it is, my requirements are that you have to have a neutral to bad opinion on Snom. <laughs> what an amazing top comment because their flair is Snom good. Love Schnom. Protect Schnom. I'm talking about the Pokemon. The good worm boy. He's a good boy. He has a butt for a mouth. Okay, this is gonna... I'm gonna make my Italian ancestors turn in their graves with this. In case you can't tell, I got a very heavy, like, New England accent. So, uh, I gotta try and, uh... I gotta try and go back to my roots here. Hmm. Mario's a sad head and lose a paper for a part-time job. Mario's a gonna take it. It just seems like easy pay. <laughs> Yahoo! First tonight on the job, everyone. Why are they moving? <laughs> Oh, look at all those microphone peaks. I'm sure that audio sounds great. <laughs> this is so incredibly stupid. 
I always admire the accounts that can post things like this because I'm like, how the how the hell do you even think of this? In what way did your life take a turn where you wake up in a cold sweat in the middle of the night like, I have to make a Mario 64 roleplay account. He will work at Fazbear's Pizzeria. Like, how does that how does that thought come about? You're very attractive. Why does liking someone have to be a big secret? Why doesn't everyone in the world just make it really clear? Why can't we make t-shirts with the names of who we crush on? Why don't we throw pianos at people and yell, Hello, you are very attractive, sir. Have you tried throwing a piano? I'll be real. Um, when I, you know, broke up with my last girlfriend, I was like, okay, you know what? Subtlety, never really been my thing. Local man, just a little bit too stupid for that. So let's try being direct. Being direct is very nice. It lets people know exactly what you're after. However, if you come about it with the amount of subtlety as a piano being thrown at somebody, uh, I will say it will hurt your chances somewhat. I'm speaking from experience. I didn't throw a piano. It was a Casio keyboard, but still, I feel as though that, the, you know, this, this is a very, valid point. Do not throw pianos, maybe just settle for getting their face tattooed without their consent or knowledge. That tends to go really well. <laughs> Don't do that. Jesus of Nazareth. New Earth. Powers and abilities. Carpentry. Yeah, sure, that was the main one, I think. <laughs> Dude, okay, back in college, me and my roommate used to spend so much time just browsing through the, like, DC metaverse, because there are a lot of things in there that sound like shit posts that are presented with complete seriousness, dedication, and legitimacy, and it shatters me. Like, uh, my personal favorite is Owl Man and the Jokester. What if Joker was a good guy and just looked like a palette swap of the Joker? And what if Owl Man was Bruce Wayne dad, but him the one not dead, so he go insane? Or how about Batman, uh, Batman dying and his parents taking up the mantle of the Joker and Batman and and fighting each other endlessly because they couldn't cope with their son's death. That one actually sounds like a good plot point, but not the jokester. What the fudge is the, what is the jokester? And then the gentleman ghost. Who is he? Why is he here? Why is he a gentleman? Why is he a ghost? I don't know. <laughs> Slap my ass. Yeah, I'm social distancing right now. Sticky hand. Oh my God. I love sticky hand so much. When I was a kid, I was afraid that I had made a kid go blind because I whipped him in the face with the gummy hand and the gummy hand stuck to his eyeball. And after we ripped the gummy hand away with much screaming on his part, um, he said he couldn't open his eye because it hurt too much. I thought I blinded a kid with one of these things and honestly, like, <laughs> it's not, don't, they're like laser pointers. Don't put directly on eyeball. Thank you. So my mom told me that as a kid, she would peel an apple and throw the peel over her shoulder and the peel would take the shape of the first letter of her future spouse. Naturally, I decided to do it and I'm crying. It says no. It literally says no. Oh my god. <laughs> well, love's not for all of us, I suppose. Have you tried throwing a piano at people? That might help your chances. Look, man, I'm gonna say love is not a requirement to live a happy life. It makes things a lot easier, but you don't need it. Trust me, I'd know. I haven't loved myself for years, and yet I'm still quite content. I only cry myself to sleep every other night now. It's improvements. <laughs> but nah, nah, don't. This is a funny post. Nah, don't let the mysticisms of love conflate your view of the world. Be happy by yourself, and someone will come to be happy with you. And that's a science fact. It's not, but it does help. Why do people think humans are the peak of evolution? Bears get to eat berries and salmon all the time and sleep half the year. How is that not so much more advanced than working every day until I die? They can't make Tumblr posts, so clearly I am superior to a bear. Honestly, a bear's design is intelligent for the environment that it lives in, but I do want to state, we have so much more productive time and more complex emotions than a bear can feel because our brains are a lot more curved. Like, we have the benefits of only needing eight hours of sleep as opposed to sleeping the entire winter. We are apes that can survive both winter and summer, and that's insane. A lot of apes can do this, but they all have hair. We're butt naked, dude. Like, it's it's definitely, like, interesting, to say the least. We have, we can do so much more, and we experience so much more life because we don't hibernate, and our needs are met almost entirely by society. It's nuts. It's insane to think about. We are cooler than bears. <laughs>
<laughs> this is my favorite. This is one of my favorite images. Don't ask me for the secret family recipe. I saw the face of a god and it was weeping. <laughs> I have been quoting this for years. It's so incredibly stupid. Something about it just brings life into my soul. And I've never even decided to look at what that's a reference to. Hold, now I need to find out. Oh my god. It has no direct, like, point of reference. It, it exists from this meme. This meme puts something in the world zeitgeist. Oh my god. That's powerful. Have you heard of the ancient Greek hero, Bophides? He was a lot like Achilles, he just had one weakness. Except instead of his heel, it was his groin. You may have heard of Achilles' heel, but have you heard of both of these nuts? This is the best joke on this godforsaken website. This took me a hot second because I didn't know how to pronounce both of these. But it's both of these nuts. You like that? That's a reference to my genitalia. This movie, I can't top that. Wife is pregnant, do any day. Suddenly the contractions start. Can't, won't, I'm, haven't, don't, <laughs> haven't, don't, isn't, she says. Doc, it appears the contractions are worsening, the nurse says. In between breaths, the, the wife gasps and scream, Y'all do f- <laughs> That hurts. I feel as though I've been directly called out. Every time I have to type the way that I speak and I get to one of these, I have to stop and question if I'm real. Because <laughs> I've definitely used Yalvdees before. <laughs> Yalvdees. Where do you want to go for food? I'm thinking Yalvdees. I just learned that the Russian word for ladybug translates to God's little cow. That's adorable. That's so precious, but also this image brings so much happiness into my life. It's so pure and cute. Something about this is just perfect. It, it is it is the good final post of this video. And that's all the time we have here today on Calpus. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and maybe even share it with a friend who could use some reminiscing about the good old fashioned blue days. If you want more r slash Tumblr, there'll be another one popping up in just a couple of seconds. But until then, my name has been Lumo, and I hope to see you in the very next Calpus video. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.